In today's video, we are back with the Ayrshire Valley Blacknose Flock. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel and haven't heard me speak about these sheep before, the Valley Blacknose is a rare breed in the United Kingdom and originates from the Valley region of Switzerland. This is a mountainous breed with an incredible nature. It has very unusual skin. In fact, it has an unusual head, unusual horns, unusual tail. It's an unusual sheep and it's always really interesting working with them. Because although I've worked with sheep my entire life, I've never worked with a sheep like the Valley Blacknose. So if you like what you see, make sure and click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and sit back and enjoy. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, we're back with these guys, look at them, photogenic, almost as photogenic as myself, I must say. What are we at today? It's shearing time, I dread this, I see Tom the farmer here, I see his number come up on my phone at this time of year and I think, oh no, he's going to want those Valley Black Nose sheared again. And as much as of course we love these sheep here and how interesting they are and how different they are for me as a sheep farmer having never really worked with sheep like this. Shearing them is a bit of a chore, but I've come up with a solution this time to make it a little bit easier. Two solutions, actually. The first one is that I've shaved their heads. Yesterday I was down and I shaved their heads on the dressing stand, so whilst I had my back straight, standing up, I used the battery clippers to do the head because it takes almost as long as the rest of the sheep to make a really nice, almost tidy job of them. The second solution, is that I brought James Andrew with me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's guaranteed to be a bit easier than doing them myself. Last time I did them myself and the back almost gave in because you spent so much time bent over, working around their head and their horns and trying to make, of course, a tidy job. That's important here with these ones because they are valuable sheep and the look is everything with these sheep. It's important to make a good job, which we always strive to do anyway, but this is particular prestige A1. And in this little pen here, we've got some lambs. And in the main pen behind me here, we have the ewes. There's about 38 in total to do, including the rams. So yeah, it sounds like nothing. 38 sheep, easy. There's a lot of work in them, as you're about to see. Another exciting thing for this video, brand new handpiece. It is the 1st of August, so it's quite late starting a new handpiece, but I want to, so I'm going to do it. I use the same two handpieces this year that I did last year, and I crutch with them all winter. But let's look inside the box. You get yourself a new Heinegger handpiece, what do you get? Comes in this lovely professional carry case here. Inside the box we have a ferrule, which will go in the end of my handpiece in a second. We then have the handpiece itself, which with this one comes with a comb and cutter, because I bought it before the 1st of June this year, that was a promo they're running. You also usually get a screwdriver, but I actually need a screwdriver one day, so I pinched the screwdriver out of this box, and I've lost it already, so I'm using an old screwdriver here. Go easy on mate, we all make mistakes. And by mistakes I mean go through three or four screwdrivers a year. Yes I do. So I wasn't actually going to use this. Tell you what, I'm just going to use it. It's a diamond cutter, so that's a running cutter and a quantum comb, which of course is my favourite. We're going to use it and see how we go. So, ferrule goes on, just screws on. Worm drive of course, for safety. That's the only way to go these days. Ferrule goes on. Screwdriver through, tighten. Some of these are bread, some of these were just put in. They're lambs. That'll never come off. And we'll just oil it up and she's ready to go. Just have a look at her though, in all her glory. Really important my new handpiece, plenty of oil. Isn't that right James? Yeah. Do not run out. Do not run out of oil and wreck your handpiece. Like someone may have done, may or may not have done. Not naming names. Ready to go. Golden, I follow you. Golden, 
Yes, I'm back with the voiceover, and in the interest of preserving everyone's sanity, I'm going to fast forward this shearing a little bit, because it takes me over 4 minutes to shear this one Valley Blacknose U. It is that difficult. There is just so much wool everywhere on these sheep, and with breeding females costing in the region of £4,000, it's important that we don't make any mistakes, especially around her lady bits. Now for once, I thought I'd make a vlog that isn't all about me and what I'm doing. This shearer that you see here is James. Now those of you that have seen some of my videos before will know that he's the man that was kicked off the trailer by that angry ram and he bounced up like a champion and kept shearing on. Now James is 52 years old, not that you'd know it by the way he shears sheep every day and does it effortlessly. And in our small farming community in Ayrshire, in the west coast of Scotland, James is a well-known figure, well-known for being an absolute hero. And I'm not too macho to admit, he's my hero as well, especially turning up to help me on this day.
like that, just to see. So, new world record here. Nah, new Yersha record, I think. Doing these, and look at the three of them standing here. Doing these in three hours, whereas last time I did them over two days myself. What a difference having the heads done first. Massive difference, because it is usually a real, real slog. Try to get around those ears and eyes and horns. Mm, the back, the back whimpers thinking about it. New handpiece was running beautifully, but then I'm supported by Heinegger, so I'm obviously going to say that. But most of you guys have used Heinegger, so you know it's true. Uh, Jay, is that your first time shearing a Valley Black Nose? It is Cameron, yes. And how was that for you? It was just wonderful. Quite difficult though, eh? <laughs> it was a bit, eh? I, I think there'll be a lot of people here. It was quite challenging. Yeah, there'll be a lot of people, and obviously Archie's shown them as well, and he's been about a bit as well, and seen some marinos and stuff, but there's a lot of people who will comment and say, oh, you know, not as hard as a sheep. merino and this and this, but, ah, but there's, there's a lot of will in a lot of places. Uh, it's a funny, different shape to them. Yeah. They don't seem to hug your weight, carry your weight the same. Aye, uh, quite so on the back. Aye, uh, quite so yeah. the Maybe not for you, obviously you're not quite human, but like for me. <laughs> I feel, feel it in the back. James gets flung off the trailer, just bounces back up like it's nothing, just at 52 year old, you know. Easy game. Anyway, sheep fans, that's us, short, sharp, sweet. Kind of a cup of tea now, thanks to Joan. And we're going to wrap up, not for the day, I've got some more to share, three show sheep to share on the way home almost wrap up for the day. The season's nearly finished. See you for the next one. Quite hard work. Yeah, it's a you okay? I'm worried about it you. It's a dodo. <laughs> what about the bit when you're upside down? <laughs>